Aloha from Maui. Thank you for joining me. I am Terry Edmonds. And for those of you that know me, this is a very different venue for me. We are actually at my uh, beautiful home in Maui, Hawaii, doing what I love the most. I love to garden. Most of you would think it's shoes because as a 20 year shoe professional, that is what I do day in and day out. And uh, I'm sure many of you have seen my videos. And so I want to do something a little different today, something that really brings me so much happiness because on my time off, I love to garden. All these beautiful flowers and everything, it gives me a chance to be um, out in the sunshine, some fresh air, and get some good exercise. So thanks for joining me. Uh, I, either you're watching me on Amazon Live or you're watching the replay on my YouTube channel, which is Terry Edmonds. And either way, if you're trying to find me the easiest way possible, it's to go to my website, terryedmonds.com. And I make it so easy for you. You just write on the front page, you click the Amazon button, you click the Amazon button. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay. And here is my Amazon shopping cart. <clears throat> the direct address to the Amazon shopping cart is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Terry Edmonds. <clears throat> Either way, they take you to this, uh, my Amazon shopping cart. Here we are now live. That's super cool. And uh, the very, the topic we're talking today is garden tools. It's on the top of the list. And here we are. So we're going to review some of these together because I would say, even though I love to garden and I've been doing it for a while, I'm still an amateur. And so, uh, if, since everybody's buying online these days, I thought it'd be a lot easier to know what some of the products are like. You know, it's hard to test things now when you order online. So I think I've narrowed it down. I bought most of these uh, back in March. So I put them to a lot of use. So, and we're gonna cover a lot of things. Some of the things we're touching base on are your basic hand tools. Um, I also discovered the joy of having a really good hose and a timer, so we're going to touch base on that. And I'm also going to do a review on some really great garden boots. Since I am known as the shoe lady, I think I've got a couple of good suggestions for you guys that are working out in the yard and want some good footwear. So I think we're going to go ahead and get started because we've got a lot to cover today. Before I do that, though, I have to give a big shout out to my mom who is watching and to my little brother, Robert, who is watching. Thank you so much. I love you. And thanks for being with me here on this special fun video. I don't make you guys watch many of them, but I wanted to hang out with you today in my uh, on my deck. So here we go. Let's get started with the basics. Um, first, we're going to start with this uh, garden bag. Um, I gave you a couple of options. This bag comes with all these hand tools, but if you don't want the whole bag, um, I put another option there to buy the tools separately. Um, on a scale of one to five, I absolutely love this package. When I bought it, it was about 40. You know, prices change, of course, but you know, it's <clears throat> still in that ballpark. <clears throat> so uh, some of the items that we have um, I like to take my uh, this bag around the yard with me. I usually keep my cell phone in one of the pockets just in case the cat comes by and I have to get some action shots. <laughs> um, I also, um, one thing though is they show this with the tools inside the pockets, as you'll see in the picture if you're watching with me on Amazon. <clears throat> but I don't use it for that because it tends to make the bag uh, topsy-turvy. Um, so I usually just dump all my tools right inside the bag. And I thought that I'm actually going to show them to you dirty because this is the true life of gardening. <laughs> you know, at first I tried to keep everything clean. I have a nice water bottle when I'm out there in the yard. I also like to keep the water bottle on hand and an old uh, sponge in case I'm, you know, got my orchid and I want to, you know, clean off some of the leaves. I like to have that handy and I also carry gloves so oh one other thing is I like to keep my seeds I have some seeds in the pockets out here in Hawaii we've my best uh, seeds we've been able to do like the beets grew really well the peas the beans so those are easy and then I keep some markers 
So here on my property, we have about four separate little gardens. Um, and uh, got one behind me, uh, a couple off to the side. Uh, but with that, they take watering. So I'll cover that with you, how to make that easier on you. All right, so there we go. Um, let me show you some of the parts that come with this. So here are some of the basic tools. There's two of these, in a, there's one in a different uh, size, but I don't have it here today. Uh, but I have put these through so much abuse, and I think I really love this product because it's durable. None of the paint has come off of this. Um, given our, our, where our property is, it's got some rocks in the dirt. And when I'm trying to make that nice garden bed, I'm really trying to clean out the rocks. And um, so I've been using this. And I tell you, so I have scraped rocks. You know, I've really tried to dig things out. And all of the paint is still on this uh, spade. So, and, and the handles are really durable. You know, it's hard to tell when you're looking at the picture, you know, is it junk? It, is this gonna fall apart? And absolutely not. They're super handy. Um, I've actually used, uh, like I like to use this one for planting my uh, seedlings. It gets into the hole really well. Plus when I was uh, digging out the carrots, it was nice to not destroy the whole carrot bed. I didn't want to take all of them out at once. So one at a time. And I like to use this tool to get into the little space around the carrots. So really liked them. You know, I, I put a lot of abuse online, I think. Um, so this was probably... Uh, the only thing that didn't hold up as much is the uh, is this uh, clipper and the only really the problem is my fault because I didn't really oil this and I think I should have just for how to see look it was kind of a mm -mm -mm, not in love with that and for how much use I put on it I need something that's really durable but I just love the flower print I just I thought it was really cute, you know, it's the one thing I do on the weekend, so I really liked having this fun pattern on it. And plus I knew I'd be doing a bunch of homesteading videos, so they're more fun. Anyway, so that's the only thing that I'd say is a downfall of this kit. It does come with a, a, a kneeling pad, which is nice. I don't really use it because it doesn't fit in the bag too well, it kind of stands out and then it's hard to hold the handles so I don't use the kneeling pad as much uh, but I, it's a nice pad it's a real thick almost like that yoga material and so it's it's nice and durable all right so that's really fun I keep all of those in my garden bag I also carry a pair of scissors with me when I'm doing the more delicate work um, I see I like to do some I'm trying to bonsai <laughs> This little tree, it's my first bonsai ever. Uh, this little plant here has these cute little purple flowers that'll bloom on it. And it's kind of delicate, so I'll just, you know, trim up the edges like that. It's really, I want to not do that here, but here it's easy because this is just a weed. It grows back really quickly. So I do add this to my tool kit, my garden kit. All right. The other thing that comes with that garden kit is the gloves. And I know that master gardeners are gonna be like, oh yeah, that glove is really great, but I'm not a master gardener and I tried to work it. It's just the right hand side that comes with these. And I, I know it's meant to help grab those areas. So I really tried. I grow pineapple, pineapple kind of sticks out. So I have to get in underneath the plant. The only problem is it kind of, you know, it puts a lot of weight right at the tips. And I wasn't in love with it. It is well made, so if you are a gardener that likes these, great, it comes with it. I don't use it, so I put my own garden gloves in there. Um, so there's the full garden kit. Let's go ahead and move on, because we've got lots of things to cover today. Uh, now we're gonna touch base, I've got this little tool kit. And I'm showing it because like, it's the holidays, uh, people are buying little gifts, and I just, I think this is so cute. I have, you know, in my shoe store, I, of course, I've got a zillion hammers. I've got really nice hammers. But for my home kit, again, I want something fun. You know, I work enough at work. I want something cute around the house. Of course, I wouldn't rebuild the porch with this, but it's great for hanging, you know, pictures. Uh, and, and it's kind of pricey, I found. Well, I think for a little kit. But I feel like 
it's a very uh, solid piece, which is really nice. And then it's got little parts on the inside. So, you know, I can do a lot of things like, yeah, super easy, really solid. And I thought, you know, what a great gift. If you've got somebody going off to college or, you know, uh, somebody's moving into their first apartment, it's got the whole set. So you've got a hammer with some parts inside the handle. There we go. So you've got a miniature screwdriver here and then a little itsy bitsy screwdriver. And I believe there's even a tinier one. Yeah, <laughs> like an eyeglass screwdriver. It's a really nice kit. I actually like it. I've used it a whole lot more than I kind of thought I would. So uh, yeah, the paint came off a little bit on the front of the hammer, but that's okay. So look at that. And then it goes right inside the top. Uh, but I think it's it's decent quality. As same here for the screwdriver, look how cute that is. It's got the interchangeable Phillips and flathead. So that's nice. And then of course it comes with the measuring tape. So I'm always looking for an excuse to use my cute measuring tape. Um, anyway, so I really like that. And then of course it came with the scissors. Uh, you know, the scissors aren't heavy duty. Um, I do try to rinse them off if I'm working in the garden. I'll, I'll rinse these off because I like them. I want to keep them. I've actually thought about getting a, one of these little kits for the store just because there's times that I have to pull out the measuring tape and even though I probably got four measuring industrial measuring tapes, this one's way cuter. So I really like it and I thought it's a cool gift pack. It actually comes in a nice box. So, you know, that's a great idea for anybody that wants a cute little set. And like I said, it was durable. <clears throat> so let's move on because I'm really excited to get to the hose, which is the next thing on the list. So the hose, like I said, I've got, we've got one, two, three, four different gardens set up and we don't have irrigation going. You know, these are, it's a small garden. And so uh, we don't have drip lines put in. And since I work all day, I really want to make watering easy and I want to make sure my plants don't dry out because I can't be in the yard during the week so much. I'm exhausted at the end of the day. So I have tried many, many hoses and I got this awesome hose. This hose is by Aqua Joe. And there are a couple of different hose companies out there. Um, my experiences, this one is so nice. You know, it doesn't uh, bend and cause crinks, uh, stopping the water, but that's so irritating. I think this one I got is the 50 foot, so it reaches most of the gardens. And so what I did is I, I have one hose per two gardens and I have this awesome timer. Okay, so this, this hose, anyway, it's a great hose. It's on the list. If you're looking for a good hose, I like this. I actually just ordered the uh, hand nozzle. I got another one from Amazon that I'll show you, but I actually just ordered this from the company because their hose is so good. I'm sure the hand nozzle is good. Uh, so that's exciting. But these timers, these timers are great. I mean, talk about saving yourself the, the worry. So this timer was so easy to hook up. Hooks right up to the uh, hose bib. I put, we have a Y valve uh, on the hose. So this is hooked up to one of them. On the other one, I have the hose with just the spray valve. So I can do my regular watering easily. I don't have to switch things out. So this is on the other one. And then on this one, I have this hose. Well, actually, uh, most of, I have this one with the single, or this one with the double, and I have another one with the single. So one of the hoses gets the mister, one of them gets the, what, the uh, sprinkler. So um, I also just ordered this from Aqua Joe as well in the blue. <laughs> You know, you're gonna garden, have fun with it. So it's gonna look really cute. It's fun in, amongst the flowers when I have the uh, hose spread across the lawn, it looks cute. And um, all I have to do, I set this timer, you know, for the time of the evening that I like. And I usually run it about nine o'clock when everybody's kind of settling down for the night and the water's not being used. And it's got a timer, which is really great. So. Um, I'll set this one for let's say nine o'clock for a half an hour. I'll water one of the yards and then I have another one in the other garden that goes off a half an hour later. 
the next day, since I don't want to water both yards uh, in a row, I take the uh, sprinkler and then it's, this hose is long enough, I can move this to another uh, garden. And it seemed, it, the gardens are just the right size. This thing, um, the sprinklers that I'm recommending for you, they can go really big, they can go pretty small and still get the water pressure. Um, so I kind of, we kind of designed the gardens around that so it makes watering really easy. Uh, it, it, it was a game changer for me. So for those of you that work and you're just, you love your gardens, you don't want everything dying from weekend to weekend, uh, this is a great alternative. I really like it. And I think we're really going to see a reduction on the water bill because we're watering at night. Anyway, so that's really great. I love it. And I put those both on there. Uh, I also have, I put the Aqua Joe uh, uh, handle uh, I'll review it again when I get it, but I like to have the option of the shower on here. It does all of the, the basic stuff in the pots that I really like. It kind of really soaks in. And then for things like my bonsai that doesn't need a bunch of water, I'll put it on the mist. And same with the orchids. And I've got a palm tree. So it's just, you know, lightly misting them. They're in the shade. They don't need a bunch of water uh, soaking the roots. But it gives them, you know, and then it's really easy. I have it in a place on the deck that's super easy to reach and I keep the water on. I don't get drips, so it's, it's great. So I recommend that. And um, I did get a, um, it's kind of windy today, it's nice. <laughs> you might hear all the birds in the background. Uh, sometimes I can't hear them because I'm talking and jabbering, but it's fun. You get cardinals, roosters, of course, but all kinds of birds around here. It's really fun. All right, so let's keep moving on. <clears throat> so, I put some other options in there for uh, hand tools for you guys. Keep an eye on the time. Um, so, I've got the waters. We like that. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to uh, the footwear. So, as you know, any of you that know me, I have a shoe store called If the Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii, and I specialize in uh, work boots, hard to fit feet. I am the island's only shoe cobbler. And so I've really been able to study footwear and over the years. And so I try to bring some guidance to you when you're trying to shop online. Uh, this happens to be uh, called the Adrika. And this is the uh, Danner brand that I'm showing you. The Adrika has uh, interchangeable laces, which is nice. Most of the gals seem to stick with the turquoise though. Totally waterproof. Um, they've got this really nice, it's called a mega grip sole on the bottom of it. So this could be used in the garden. It could be used hiking. If you need something that's kind of versatile, which I get a lot of customers that are doing that, they work the farm, but maybe they want to go hike later or not that day, but you get the idea. Anyway, uh, this shoe right now, this is the only color that they have in stock. Um, but I would probably spray this with the Scotch guard before you get it all trashed with mud. Uh, but still, it makes for a great boot. It's got a little bit of ankle support, but not so much that it's going to hinder you from moving. The Adrika. It runs true to size. They only have medium widths. If you are a gal like myself that has wide feet, and I, I know a lot of you do, then I would, uh, this is what I used to buy from Danner. This is a Danner. It's called the High Ground. And they, they no longer make it. They keep teasing me and putting it in the catalog like they're going to make it. <laughs> but it's not offered, and I love it. And you can see I put a lot of wear on it. I, when I do my heavy-duty shoveling, um, it's great for hiking. I've actually hiked in this. It's got a lot of ankle support. And, you know, this boot is at least a year old, and it doesn't collapse around the ankle. And they offer other things like this. Um, and, but where I'm going with this is especially for the gal that's got a wide foot and you can't find it in the Danner, the size that you need, what I'm recommending is that you go to the men's. And this is called the Tanicus. It's still waterproof. It's super lightweight. It's got a little less ankle support from the high ground that I just showed you, which is nice, kind of, because that high ground is, you know, you're in the boot and you're in the boot. So you, there's not a lot of movement around the ankle. I wouldn't use it if I was trying to bend down and garden. Um, but this one, you could do a little more of that. Um, and it comes in, um, like, for me, I'm a nine women's. So I would order the, the seven medium men. I think that would be enough. Um, so anyway, uh, super boot, again, waterproof, but I would still scotch guard it just to, uh, you know, 
you kind of keep it as clean as possible. You can clean it. I offer cleaners if you want to uh, look down in the videos below or my previous lives. I've got how to clean items. It'd be the same cleaner. So this is a really great one. I like this one. It's a great hiking boot. Uh, Danner made this for the military. So this is a military grade, gorgeous, gorgeous boot. You pay for it. They're not cheap. I mean, I had uh, some of my uh, viewers, some guy chatted that the boots were expensive. But you know, uh, you get what you pay for. And certainly with the Danner brand, um, you know, they're all pricey. They're meant to last. They've got a one year warranty against defects. I mean, that's kind of unheard of. So they try to uh, help you eliminate the risk by offering you the right kind of product. So, love it, Danner, awesome. And this happens to be on the shopping cart for gardening, but it's also under Danner boots. All right, um, the next thing is I had to show you guys, this is really funny, well, no, I'll go here first. So here is another farm boot. This is a lacrosse, and this is made by, um, a, the, the sister company called Lacrosse is out of Wisconsin. They have a lot of farmland and a lot of marshy, uh, wet soil. And this is made there. I mean, this was intended for those people. So I bring it in because on Maui, we actually have a lot of farming and um, people grow taro and taro is actually grown in the water, sort of like rice is. So the guys have to be in the water or this is a great boot for some people who are like work the golf courses um, but it's a, also a really great farm boot. So I tell people, and it's not that it pricey, I don't think, for the quality that you're getting. Um, this would be something, if you're really doing a lot of work, you've got big fields you're walking in, this is a super, super boot. Waterproof, it also has this adjustable back uh, calf right here that can be rolled down. You know, if it gets hot, you can just do this. Look at that. Now you got yourself a little short boot. I mean, it's really great. Um, well made. So this is great. This is the lacrosse. This is the alpha, the women's alpha range. I carry this um, for the men also in a, in a olive green. And then I also carry another version that has the um, mossy oak um, uh, camouflage pattern. And that's it. That's I sell a lot of that to hunters. So that's a great boot. And I also like it because the uh, sole, it doesn't have too high of a profile of the heel. It's nice and flat and sturdy. Here we've got lava rock. If you're really uh, climbing over a lot of terrain, um, I go with the low profile heel so you've got stability. And that's different than this boot. I just had a gal buy this boot from me for her farm out in a, uh, there's this place called Hana, <laughs> and she's growing like papayas and all kinds of stuff. And she ended up buying this one. This is actually, you know, they do show it farming some. This is called the Grange. I consider this more of a rain boot. Um, it's got the higher heel, you know, which might be nice if you're in a pretty muddy, really muddy area. But I personally like the stability of a low heel. So this wouldn't be my personal first choice, but like I said, this gal that owns a farm, bought this boot, she loved it so much, really comfortable. They're, so, they're really comfortable inside. I, I think that's one thing that surprised me about Danner and Lacrosse is that it doesn't look comfortable, but they make it comfortable because they expect people to be working in them. The other thing you can do is add your own orthotic to them. They come with a very basic orthotic uh, insole and you know if you're going to be out working all day get yourself an arch support you know it's really basic they're trying to cover a, a big uh, category of people so that's great now uh what i wear is really funny i brought it to show you guys uh, the high ground i wear when i'm doing like the heavy duty stuff if i'm working out clearing out the you know helping clear out the woods and stuff like that then i'll wear my high ground but in my regular gardening this is so funny. I just have to show you guys. So these are my garden boots. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've had these this pair for so long. I made these. I have a video um, that was uh, sponsored by Tandy Leather Factory about how to make this boot. This pattern comes from their website. It's the Plains Boot Moccasin. And I actually make these for customers and sell them in my store. 
um, but they're they're really great and they this thing has taken a beating I have never changed the sole um, I of course have gotten them muddy I like that they're easy on and off and I make my boots with the power step orthotic because it's the only way I mean those orthotics they keep your shape you know if I'm out there all day my feet don't hurt so this is the power step orthotic I think we'll just put that over there <laughs> Anyway, I don't clean them. It's my garden boot. I've got a nice boot that I can wear other times, but it's just such a great garden boot. And you know, if you're a crafter, you can make them yourself. Check out my YouTube channel. It's called the uh, uh, Moccasin Masterclass. And it's, it's a, actually pretty easy if you just have the time. It takes about eight to 12 hours to make this, but it's very affordable and they're really fun. They're super comfortable. And you know, it's the Plains Boot Moccasin, which is after the Plains Indians and they really wore something like that and I can see why you know when I'm out in the field and in the garden I think you know that, that makes sense why they wore a boot like this it's easy it's light it's not hot um, and even though mud gets on it they're they're not waterproof but I don't soak them I don't get water in the seams and stuff so anyway so that's kind of fun and apparently I've painted in them before <laughs> I love it they've been great to me um, so just we're gonna wrap it up here, but um, one of the other things that uh, You know, I also like to wear a long sleeve shirt when I'm out in the yard I you know, I've, I've had enough Sun. I was raised in Arizona And so I really try to make sure and being out here in Hawaii I've spent so much time at the beach and surfing and doing cool beach stuff, but I don't need to trash my skin so I wear a long sleeve shirt, even though it's white, I don't, I'm not afraid to get it dirty, apparently. Um, so anyway, I really suggest getting something like this. And then I also uh, wear a nice wide brimmed hat, something that gives me plenty of protection and take care of myself. And then I also, sometimes I'll do an apron, you know, depending if I'm working with the, uh, if I'm working with the uh, bonsais and the delicate stuff, you know, and I, I'll, I'll put on an apron. You know, I've had people ask me about these. I have a friend makes these for me. I wear them at my shoe shop uh, because it's a very dirty business. And, um, but I, I, I will at some point offer these on my website. So they're $50, they're $40, but they're really great. And they give lots of coverage. So you gals that are a little bit more endowed up top, it does cover nicely. For me, I've got more on the hip than I need to cover, so it does cover that. I really like it. And like I said, I'll, I'll put something on my website eventually for these guys. And I think we've pretty much covered it. Let me look at my shopping cart. Yeah, okay, we're great to go. It is 8.30, we got to spend a half an hour together. Oh, thank you so much. If you wanna follow my channel, click the follow button. I will be getting chat sometime, probably 2021. Uh, but for now, we just get to spend these great moments together. I can't believe Amazon's made this possible for all of us. And when you shop on my Amazon shopping cart, a percentage of those proceeds go to me. They support this and this is my love. So thank you for supporting my love and my happiness. And it's really great to be with you. Thanks mom for watching you rock. You're awesome. <laughs> okay, so everyone from Maui, Hello, 